Is Creality finally becoming GPL compliant? Stay tuned, I'll tell you more. Hey, welcome to the First Slayer. This is the Friday edition. And there wasn't going to be a show today because, as you can tell, I'm in my home studio today. I have been under the weather today. My back is killing me. So um, uh, this news came out, and I just couldn't hold it back. I had to do some sort of little video for you guys today. So Creality Today did something amazing. But before we get into that story, if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit that bell notification so you get notified every time that we do a brand new show right here on the first layer. Whether we're doing a live stream or uploading a new episode. So let's just jump into it. There's lots to talk about today. Recently, as you guys know, I did a video about Creality's somewhat GPL compliance. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link to it in the description below so you can go and have a look at it. Now, in an unprecedented move, Creality said to its consumers and future um, consumers that they are releasing all of their firmware. And as of today, right now on their website, you can download the source code for everything from the Ender 4, the Ender 2, the CR5060, the CR4040, CR3040, CR20 source code, and there's a whole bunch more in here if I can just zoom down. Um, let me just close this real quick. The CR2020, the CR5, the CR10S, and the list goes on. Now, every printer that they put out to date, except for one, so you've got the CR8S in there. You've got the CR10S5, the S4, the Ender 3. The Ender 3 has been around for a while, as we all know. Um, and that is completely open source. So they did a lot uh, with that one. And we'll talk a little bit about what this might mean for Creality as well. They've also done the CR10S4, the CR10 Mini, the C and the CR10. Like I said, the only one that's missing off this list is the CRX. Now I am told that the CRX or CRX firmware is going to be released very soon. So this will make this company 100% GPL compliant. This now goes back to a story that we did um, on Monday where we were talking about whether or not um, companies should be jumping ship on Creality. And for me, it was kind of a 50-50 a because they were saying on one hand, here's some of our stuff, but here's not all of our stuff. And I've been asking them for months, literally months, uh, to get source code for the CR10 S4 and the S5. Now they've released it all. It's all available both in hex and in the raw source core code form. You can now download for any machine. So anybody that that is going and trying to build their own firmware for the CR10 or the CR10S, um, here's a great resource now where you can just go in and tweak a few things that you need to tweak without rebuilding the entire source code. This is a great move on Creality's part. It's now opening them up to the full transparency that they should have been quite a while ago. Now, whether this had to do anything with um, printed solid jumping ship on Creality's products and saying that they're not going to carry their products anymore until they're 100% GPL compliant, well, um, I think this is a step in the right direction for Creality, and I think they're doing a great job. They're not... I mean, there's a real language barrier here, and here's where it comes down to it. Most of these Chinese companies that are putting out 3D printers that you and I are all buying are are dealing, we're dealing with Chinese companies. And a lot of the time, these companies don't understand 
what things like the GPL are and how they should be implemented into their routines. And I said this in a previous video, and I'll say it again. I believe that companies should be putting their source code onto their SD cards that they are, are providing with the machine. So that source code now is going to go to the people that are, are buying their products. Um, you wouldn't see, you know, Ford uh, or even Microsoft put up source code for something that they weren't selling to a consumer. Um, so, you know, it, I kind of think this is the same, same idea in that respect. I believe that source code should be bundled with the printer that you buy. And a lot of companies still don't do that. Hicktop is one of them. Uh, Tron XY is another one. These are companies that don't make their source code available, but today is a great day for, for Creality fanboys. Uh, the GPL, um, Marlin source code, it's all been released. So I really wanted to let you guys know that if you haven't yet, go ahead and download their source code. Just go straight to their website. I will put a link in the description down below so you can go there and check it out. Um, I want to thank you guys, my audience. This is a real short video today, but I think that they've now made the right move, and I think that Printed Solid maybe have jump shipped a little too early. That being said, let's thank a few people. I want to thank my fantastic team, Brian Baker, uh, Frank Awesome, and the lovely Jess Corna Ching, who helped me out. And uh, yesterday I was not in the studio to record today's episode. So unfortunately, uh, I was laid up yesterday. And uh, today I still am. My back is killing me. And I'm going to get out of this chair in about two minutes. Um, so I want to say thanks to my, my wonderful team. I want to say thank you to Spool 3D for providing space for our, our studio that we can do the recording in and uh, give us access to all kinds of different printers that we can show you guys. Uh, so remember, print it right, print it with Spool 3D. They've got everything that you need from printers to filaments to uh, all the parts and accessories that you could possibly want for your next 3D printer build or upgrade. So check them out today at spool3d.ca. Print it right, print it with Spool 3D. Now, I want to thank all my Patreons. You guys are amazing for sticking with me, and uh, we are getting a few more. I've got some questions I'm going to be answering over the weekend that came in through email regarding, of course, source code. Um, so I'm going to be answering those questions over the weekend as well. Uh, so Patreons, thank you for sticking with me. Continue to stick with me because it's only going to get better. And we've got a, an anniversary show coming up on October 4th. It's going to be a live stream. And I will be live streaming from the studio on Monday. We're going to do a very special live stream there. Um, and then we're going to get back into our regular routine of doing stuff. Uh, that being said, um, who else do I want to thank? Uh, oh, Hey, listen, if you want to become a Patreon, you can always go to patreon.com slash the first layer, sign up for one of our, our, uh, wonderful sets there and, or wonderful levels of, of donation there. And you can uh, be a part of what we're doing. Now you will notice in the background, I now have the Sith computer, uh, up and running. It is assembled. It is going to be working here very soon in the studio. We're going to be bringing it there, porting over some stuff that we need to port over. And uh, we'll have a much better experience when we're recording and live streaming for you guys. Uh, I am still live streaming off the other one, though, today, uh, just so you know. Um, also, if you uh, don't want to get into a monthly commitment and you want to be a part of the show uh, and show your, your uh, first layer of pride, you can always go over to buymeacoffee.com slash the first layer and buy me a coffee. Um, we always appreciate uh, getting coffees. The whole team does, actually. Um, and I want to thank you guys for watching and motivating me to get out of bed and take some Robax set. And uh, now I'm going to go have a nap. But um, taking some Robax set and getting here to give you guys the latest news. Thanks for Brian Baker for alerting me to this news today. Uh, he sent it to me through my phone. So uh, I am uh, sitting here in my home studio to give you guys the latest news. So with that said, I am going to say goodbye for today. And I'll see you guys again live on Monday. We're going to do a very special live stream. So 
Until that time, take care of yourselves and remember that the first layer is always your foundation to a great print. Till Monday. Have a great weekend.